So far on today's show, we've been following the whole house remodeling of this 100-year-old home, which includes a new kitchen, a new deck, and some new windows and doors. So let's once again meet up with Andy Lindis to see how the Lindis construction crews are installing some of these products. Well, Andy, Mike's making some nice progress on this. This is looking just beautiful, these cabinets. I like what they selected here. Now, let's step back. What did the old farmhouse kitchen actually look like? You know, it was a small kitchen. You know, two people trying to work in at once, constantly running into each other. It had that old false soffit that came down to the top of the cabinet, a little countertop that came over, a little, little space for you to sit at, and then, of course, the dining room table that really never got dined at. Boy, this is going to be a beautiful transformation, that's for sure. Nice and open and inviting. Now, you alluded to it being a 110-year-old house, a lot of challenges. How'd you get it to this stage? Well, a lot of prep work that goes in. Once we got most of the demo work done, we started to put a level on things and start to realize just how out of whack this house really was. And this wall in particular had some challenges. It was about an inch and a half out of plumb. That means the top of the wall actually went outside where the bottom of the wall was by about an inch and a half. So trying to put cabinets or anything on that wall and make it, make it level was going to be a challenge. So what we did is we actually sistered in new studs all the way along this wall. At the bottom of the studs, they were flush. Anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, they were pulled out before the plywood was actually put on. Boy, well again, you go with the right company, they have the experienced craftsmen to overcome that. Now, did you take advantage of the opportunity to help the energy efficiency by adding some insulation? Yeah, you know, actually, a funny story, we sided this house about 30 years ago. And when we sided it, we put three quarters inch foam on it. But even with that three quarters inch foam, we knew that we wanted to make these old two by four walls not only soundproof, the most energy efficient we possibly could. So yeah, we had the spray foam guys come in and I think it's gonna make quite the difference. So the look is gonna be updated, the energy efficiency is gonna be updated, so it's gonna be a nice comfortable home, that's for sure. What about up top? It looks like they went with a range hood here. How challenging was that? Yeah, you know, this house, like I said, older home. It's been through its fair share of remodeling. I, mean, I can tell there was an old staircase that went up through here, evidence of an old fire. You, there's three different types of flooring. And I don't know where all these floor joists came in at over the years, but it was really hard to try to get this to flush mount. And knowing the height of this and to be able to get up here and work the controllers, if you didn't want to get the remote, it made sense to drop that down instead of moving those joists. We're going to be able to box this in with some nice whitewashed wood, really give it a nice clean look make it a focal point of the kitchen. Boy, it's going to be functional too, because you're going to have the cooktop here, you said. Mm -hmm. It's going to be able to exhaust any of the, of the gas. And I like that, that this was going to be a flush mount. I mean, I can see it right there. Yet you overcame it. Again, a testament to the professionals putting their minds together in a project like this. Hey, there's got to be a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Now, over here in this corner, I'm looking up at one of the new 2 by 4s you put up there to support the ceiling. One corner... It is almost tight with the floor joists. This corner, you're two inches down. Is that what you're talking about? You know, over the hundred years, this house has settled so much. You got a new addition here. You have three different types of subfloor. So when you're measuring from floor to joist, there's a big difference. Like I said, it could be about two inches of a difference and about, what, 14 feet? That's where having that transit come in, shooting a level, making sure you're measuring up there. So when you sit back and you actually look at the ceiling, it is level. Up above, not perfectly level. All that's hidden doesn't matter. We're going to make this as clean of a look and as level of a look as you possibly can. And in my personal opinion, what I like is you didn't lose the headroom. It's still a good eight or nine foot high ceiling, so it's a nice open environment for people to enjoy. And everybody loves the central gathering place, the kitchen. Now, what about the front entryway? I saw the guys working on the door. Did that present any unique challenges? Yeah, you know, remodeling always has challenges. New construction, probably have that door installed in 15 minutes to a half hour. Remodeling, 
sometimes can take several hours to make things work properly. The opening wasn't perfectly level. You had to cut out the old door through the old cement. You had to chisel away some of the old mortar. Not a lot of rot in this door. That was real surprising for a 25 year old door. So no wood really had to be replaced, but it had to be built down and then shimmed properly to get the reveal to work and hopefully have a brand new working door here in about 10 minutes.